Welcome everyone. In this deep dive, we're uh, we're going to unpack some key ideas about our environment, both natural and built. Yeah, the goal is really just to get clear, simple answers from the info we've looked at. Exactly. Get it straightforward. So let's jump in. First question, climate change. We hear it all the time, but what is it simply? Well, the simplest way to put it based on our sources is just a change in global or regional climate patterns over the long term. Long term shifts. Yeah. Got it. And looking specifically at the Caribbean, what are, say, two negative effects we're already seeing? The sources mention stronger hurricanes, definitely, and um, rising ocean levels impacting the coasts. Right. Those are pretty direct impacts. OK, shifting gears a bit. Yeah. Thinking about how culture shapes things, which are three cultures really influence building styles in the Caribbean? Yeah, that's interesting. The material points clearly to African, European, and Indian cultures. You can often see that blend, can't you? Absolutely. And the designs, the materials, yeah. it's all there. Okay, let's think practically for a moment. Imagine you're helping a family choose land to build a house. They've got three options. Plot one is a rocky hill. Plot two has a well right in the middle. And plot three has deep, good soil. Which two are the better choices and why? Hmm. Okay, well, plot two, the, the one with the well... That's a big plus, right? Easy water access. That makes it a strong contender. Water access, definitely key. And the other one? And plot three, with the deep soil, that suggests a stable foundation for building. Less hassle than, say, a rocky hill. So plot two for water, plot three for solid base. Makes sense. OK, back to some definitions. Our natural environment. What are two basic components? Super basic here. Living things and non-living things. That's what the sources boil it down to. Living and non-living. Simple enough. And the flip side. The built environment. What's the simple definition there? That's just all the physical stuff humans create. Think buildings, roads, bridges, that kind of thing. Everything we construct around us. Yeah. Okay, let's circle back to climate change effects in the Caribbean. Can we list two more negative impacts, just to broaden the picture? Sure. Besides the ones we mentioned, uh, there's increased coastal erosion, the sea literally eating away at the land. Man. And damage to coral reefs. That's a huge one for marine life and coastal protection. Yeah, really significant. Okay, international agreements, the Kyoto Protocol. What was that all about in simple terms? Essentially, it's an international agreement. It came out of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, and its main goal was uh, getting countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. A global effort to tackle the emissions side of things. Yeah. Got it. A couple more quick definitions. The atmosphere. Just the layer of gases surrounding the Earth, our air, basically. The air we breathe, the planet's blanket. Yeah. And an ecosystem. That's a community of living organisms interacting with their physical environment. You know, how plants, animals, weather, soil all work together in an area. The whole interacting system. Okay. Last question from the sources. Climate change and water resources. Two negative effects there. Keep it simple. Reduced availability of fresh water is one. And more frequent or severe droughts is another. Less fresh water, more droughts. Pretty serious consequences. Definitely. So just to recap this quick dive. Yeah. We've touched on the basic meaning of climate change, some specific impacts, especially in the Caribbean. Cultural influences on buildings, practical things like choosing land, key definitions like environment, atmosphere, ecosystem. And even a major international agreement like Kyoto, we've really focused on just the core ideas. Keeping it to the essentials, yeah. So thinking about all this, how climate change hits both the natural world and the things we build, here's a thought for you, the listener. What single simple change in how we do things do you think could set off the most positive ripple effect? It's a good question to ponder. Understanding these basic points we covered today really gives you a foundation to think about those bigger connections and potential solutions.